For only the third time in history, a sitting U.S. president is facing a vote of impeachment in the House of Representatives. I'm Jack Royer. I'm Sherry Jackson. State Capitol reporter Rashad Hudson spent the day talking to people to get their thoughts on the process. I had a chance to speak with people inside of a barber shop where, believe it or not, impeachment was a topic of conversation. We also spoke with lawmakers as history unfolds. Not only does Kelsey Shepard at First Place Barbershop keep his customers looking good, but he also keeps them informed. We work on different aspects of the customers. You'd be surprised a lot of customers um, that's, you know, that's not tuned in with um, day to day, day to day politics. Recently, they've talked a lot about the big I word impeachment. When he got elected, they had a complaint about him uh, doing the same thing that he did with the other country. Many people feel that this may divide the country, but that's not the sense here in the barbershop. There has been other things that probably has not even the biggest of reasons or influence that has divided the country. Meanwhile, federal leaders are weighing in on the impeachment and their vote. The entire Republican conference will be unified in, a, in opposing this, and we will have Democrat votes with us, too. So the only bipartisan vote you're going to see today is going to be a, a vote to, uh, to end this spectacle. My vote for impeachment today is not about the president. It is about my oath to defend and protect the Constitution of this United States of America. From the barbershop to Washington, people definitely had a lot to say about the impeachment process. Reporting in Montgomery, Rashad Hudson, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Back